Hi there and welcome to an Irish bouzouki accompaniment tutorial and this you can use for piano accompaniment, guitar accompaniment or any other kind of accompaniment that you like and we're going to use the jig The Humours of Glynn as an example for this accompaniment tutorial. So I got this tune from my mother's book um, it's a fiddle tutor called Fiddle by Kathleen Nesbitt and she pointed out to me as well that this tune can also be found in Poets and Poetry of Munster, which was published in 1925, the second edition. And here we have the lovely old writing of the tune. And some poetry was put to the tune back then. So the tune far precedes um, the poetry that was attached to it here. And here in my mother's book, you have the tune as well, The Humours of Glynn. And as you can see, she has lovely um, uh, directions for bowing and also for ornamentation here. But we're looking at it here from a, a harmonic point of view. And you can see that it's in D major, and but it kind of weaves between B, ma uh, B minor rather and D major a lot. It starts off in B minor with the B, passing A and F sharp, back up to D here, F sharp, the A is passing, and so on and so forth. So unusually, um, <clears throat> as far as I can hear it anyway, it starts off in B minor and resolves to a D uh, further on into the tune. So let's look first of all at some chords we can abstract from the melody. And if we look here, um, I have one chord per bar here, all the way down until we get to here where we have two chords in the bar. And that's the harmonic rhythm. Now in Irish music in, in general, very generally speaking, the harmonic rhythm, which is the rate of change of the chord as you go along, is a little slower than it would be in uh, jazz or classical music per se. And one of the reasons for this is because the music moves by rather quickly. And so the chord changes, it suits to have a slower harmonic rhythm. But the thing is, is that when you're pedaling, um, one of the chords here through um, as, a, as, a, as a drone or a bass and um, suddenly the changes will come upon you and uh, it's better to have um, a knowledge of the tune by ear at least ideally to actually pick the melody on your on your instrument so that you know when these changes are going to happen so here I have a B minor D major B minor A major then the next line we could have put a B minor again but I've opted for a G major 7th here, which is very similar. It's like a B minor with a G under it. And then I'm going to continue down to a D over F sharp. Now, that's not essential, but that provides a nice bass line, the G going down to F sharp. Back to G, we have our two chords here, D major, A major, back to D, back to home. And that repeats again. And then in the second part, we have D major, D major, G and D again, A and B minor. And then similarly on the fourth line and you repeat that. So then this would really be um, an option. So then you could build your, your accompaniment from this and maybe the second time around the tune you could substitute a lot of these chords for different chords. But it's good to set up a fundamental structure in the first place. So on the bazooki, let's see what these chords are like. We have our B minor first. That's our D major. Back to B minor and now A. So there's two different positions for A. You can use the first one I use with my thumb, index and second finger, which doesn't have a third in it. And the second one is uh, a bar chord, A major, with the C sharp as the third. Then we're going to go to our G here, and I'll put in the major seventh, second above. Back to D. And then we have G, D, A, and D. The four chords at the end in the last two bars. So the harmonic rhythm picks up at the end.
Now I'm using a right hand rhythm, which is crucial, of course, in this accompaniment. And you can do a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Or some people opt for a down to three, up to three. But this what I'm using here is a down, down, up, down, down, up. Or what I can call sometimes a flat down, up, flat down, up. <laughs> That would be the first part combined with the rhythm, and the rhythm really makes it alive. And so you'd apply that to the second uh, part of the tune as well, with that rhythm. So I'd recommend going through those chords and also perfecting um, the rhythm hand, which is, you know, there's a lot of detail in it, and it's, 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 you can't really go into it now in this video. But I find it's best to have your hand positioned as if it was kind of semi-muted near the bridge so that it gives you a good control and you can play your rhythm from the wrist. Then, of course, there comes a time where you, you, you can strum and use more arm movement. But um, I think for techniques like hammer-ons and moving around within the scale on the bazooki or an open-tuned guitar, it's nice to have a kind of a, a semi-strumming, semi-picking technique, which I'll probably talk about at a later date. So now here is the tune itself. I'm playing on the flute here and accompanying on the bazooki. And you can see if the chord pattern then fits the tune that's there. And you can go back over the video and check it out. So, if you want to go back over that video and check out the various parts and um, see if you can put all that together and look at the, I would encourage if you look at any tune and look at the melody broken down and take a bit of time to do that. And probably the best thing you can do is listen to the music more so than anything else. Listen to it and listen to great accompanists playing and try and put it together and occasionally learn the melody on your backing instrument, whether that be the guitar or the bazooki or any other instrument, because it gives you an idea of where the chord changes happen and how to apply them in, in real terms. So um, I will be doing more videos along these lines, um, so please feel free to subscribe or like. And uh, if you have any questions or um, inquiries about lessons, you can email me at flutrix at hotmail.com in the description below. Thank you very much.